on the reason why Borough is called Bruh. After all, Glasgow's vocabulary is far superior than any other city on the planet. Dull loving jakey people, coid. Uh, I'm not going to get. I don't. I'm saying I'm, I'm already involved. On it. I don't want to get involved in this. Um, be gone with your your sectarian nastiness, <laughs> all of you. Um, I've just been followed weirdly. Uh, someone, uh, HR Milton Keynes jobs page has just decided to follow our Twitter page at this moment <laughs> in time. That's nice of them. Are they trying to tell us <laughs> they, something? They've, they've got advertising space as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my word, I need to turn the page over and find out where I'm supposed to be. Ah, uh, OK, right, thank you very much. It means it must be time to say this. OK, back to the roundabout again. Your first two clues once more. So far you've had Chafing Legs Orchestrate the Nighttime Dance. Clue two was Smoke Gets in Your Eyes, Making You Mad Forever. And the third clue, Richie Cunningham... Governs Duffy's Street. So keep your guesses coming in via the usual channels. Okay, it's your big moment. All right, shall I just go? No intro music? Um, uh, yeah, I haven't been bothered. So. Right, I'm, 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 and, uh, let me just find one. Uh, where, where's this? Uh... Armitage. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's good enough because it is toilet, isn't it, Absolutely. really? <laughs> Right, this is one that I have not written this week, um, but it is from my good friend Scott, who has written a genius song for David Martin. Is this Scott McGregor or a different Scott? S- no, I won't give a surname just in case he doesn't want publicity. Okay, fair enough. Right. Looking back on where we first met. <laughs> <laughs> right, looking back on where we first met. Got you from Liverpool, we'll never forget. It- <laughs> Dave, you're number one. Ian is gone. You can play in goal again. <laughs> See, when I was laughing through it, and I normally keep my cool. On. That is, that you is know toilet. What? You can play in goal again. That's fantastic. That just that deserves. It has. It has. It had a naughty word through it, so I was thinking as I was going along. Right, what do I do? <laughs> Go on, Jazz, hit me. No, I'm stunned into some... <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I didn't write that one. <laughs> oh, well, well, well done. That's, uh, this is, that's one of my favourite parts of the show right now, so thank you for that. Uh, yes. Let's play Spot the Ball. We have a Dons-related football action shot in front of us with a 12 by 12 grid laid over the top of it. Using Photoshop or something similar like what you kids use these days, we've removed the ball from the pitch. How clever people that we are. What you need to do is use your knowledge of the game to determine where you think the ball should be and let us know. The grid is, the grid is labelled A to L across the top and 1 to 12 down the side. So you just have to send us the appropriate grid reference. B7, for example. Make sense? Right, on we go. Yes, indeed, it's Franchise Watch time where we summarise the joys that the world is using to describe us this week. And I'll start us off. Uh, I like this one, actually. We've had our tea lady longer than 11 years. Which they probably actually have. Yeah. You don't need to turn left or right, just clockwise. Where they... I'm reading this as it's yeah, written. Illiterate. Where they should be a junction, there's a roundabout. Where there should be a traffic light, there's a roundabout. Where there should be a bleeping Greggs, they've only gone and put a bleeping roundabout. I boycotted it because of MK Dons, or something to that effect. <laughs> right, this is, this, is, this is groundbreaking. Can we have the uh, thing ready? Right. Oh, no. MK really should drop the word Dons from their name. OK, uh, I don't get the supposed consensus for MK Dons. Actually, I'll rephrase. I get it. I don't agree with it. Looking forward to visiting MK on the return feature. God bless you, Governor. Uh, I don't know how I feel about MK Dons, but they hammered my new in the League Cup a few seasons ago. Or was it last season? Either way, I can't hate them. Incidentally, was it last season? It was last season. Last, last season. season. Yeah. What did we do last season? Apparently we beat some team from Manchester. Manchester. 4-0. Yeah, 4-0. Yeah, okay. it's, I'll be That's honest, we beating them's not difficult at the minute, isn't no, it? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, MK Donalds FC. FC franchise. Winkleman's Bleepers. We bought our league place through deception because we were a bunch of cheating bleeps FC. Awful plastic little club. <laughs> 
What an odious turd of a football club it is. Odious? I'm not sure if we had odious. odious. I think that's the first, first time, first, for first appearance. Thank yeah. you very much. That's excellent. Um, okay. Uh, God, I hate them. <laughs> Sorry, let me just put it on the right board. God, I hate them. I hope every single club they play this year takes the bleep out of them. I'm glad we turned these over. This is one of the clubs on my hate list. Show this franchise club just where they belong. MK Dons are a bunch of scammers. If you want to look to the future, then drop the Dons and brand your team properly as a Milton Keynes team. Best of luck to at Hitchu and at Stephen FC. Glad you have decided to abandon the odious. We've got them shot. again. Two, two odious, odious in one week. Unbelievable. And yeah. uh, nice to see him back again. Um, thanks for this contribution. MK Dons at home today, probably the most unsurprising fixture ever. They shouldn't even exist. Hashtag against modern football. Yeah, OK. Um, as usual, please send us through. It's really good everyone's... You know, not everyone, clearly, because that would take over Twitter. But um, <laughs> for those of you who are tagging or franchise watch... Ta- what do I, how do I describe that? Hashtag franchise watch. Hashtag, Hashtag franchise, franchise watch. You missed, you missed out the massive one that was desperate to read, but I understand why, but it was brilliant. Which one was On the it? forum, there's one in it, uh, view from the other side. It's amazing. I think the first bit is is actually that. It's that MK Dolls FC, Frank Lamise, Winkleman's bleepers thing. Mm. That is that is that one. But yes, I couldn't put the whole thing in. Yeah, of course. Partly because it was boring and partly because <laughs> they throw us off the show. Because you can't put that many words with that many <laughs> sweary things. The lexicon of jazz. It's lexicon time again, people. Your week off has been well earned. This is the part of the show where each week we educate you. Yes, you. The educated elite into the ways of the feral underclass that seemingly run our planet by providing detailed translations of common street talk. And this week the phrase under scrutiny is Big 4-4. Common usage. Fam, are you listening, fam? Hey, bro, when I see one road, I'm going to whip you, fam, and I'm I swear down, big 4-4, no safety. You get me, though? That was brilliant. <laughs> yeah. That's very good, yeah. Definition. I say, you little blighter, I've got a belly good mind to give you a right royal bunch of fives, you absolute bounder, you. This was widely and incorrectly believed to have originated from the 2004 hit film The Football Factory. Its first recorded usage actually originates from King Richard II's 28 metre long inventory entitled his Treasure Scroll, written by one of his scribes in French in French in 1398. Plane Talking with Mick Bannister, Thursdays at 8pm on Seclo Sounds. Check in for an hour of scintillating chat and music with Mick Bannister and his guests from the world of film and literature. He'll be talking about their achievements and inspiration and finding out about the books and music that accompany them on their travels around the world. Get to know the person behind the headlines. Catch Plane Talking with Mick Bannister, Thursdays at 8pm here on Seclo Sounds. You're listening to the Lucamp Radio Show here on Seclo Sounds. And we had a match last night against that delightful customer focus organisation from Burnley. 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 Yes, why are they or called Burnley? Burnley? Why are they when there's no Burnley Lee in there? Or, as, or as they call it in Burnley. <laughs> <laughs> that was a convincing impersonation. Or, That's your first. Or. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'd like to apologise for all of your speakers. They're now just gone. <laughs> your eardrums. Um, hands? No was it, hand. Was it away? It was away. Yeah, no, no hand. Um, hand. Hey. 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 I, sl- I slipped and accidentally turned up in Burnley. Yeah. Oh, I always got a representative at the match. Right, how long have you got? Go. Talk. Right, um, I was there. I didn't pay £5. The line-up was all right. Players didn't play very well for large periods of the game. We could have somehow... Um, robbed a draw but we didn't um, we're probably going to be in the relegation zone on Saturday I'm not very happy um, they were pretty good but we still had opportunities to get a result um, Sam Gallagher didn't play even when he came on um, 
Josh Murphy, you're not Ronaldo, mate. Just cross the ball. Lewington, thanks for getting involved, mate. Um, Simon, I'm sorry for sticking my finger up at you by accident. Uh, penalty, don't know whether it's a penalty because Dan's head was in the way. Um, subs, I didn't see any submarines, but if they were there, they would have been by the side of the, stadium, the stadium, but stadium. definitely in water. And, and they'd have been in water, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, Boyd's goal was fantastic. Yeah. But his haircut is still rubbish. Has he still got the same hair? Yeah. I can't remember whether we've talked about this, but I still remember watching a posh game against um, Millwall. Uh, it was in the cup at the Den. On the telly. On the telly. Oh, I've seen it. And they ripped him apart. Destroyed him. Every time Boyd got the ball, the entire place was going. (laughs) (laughs) And they got. They had to take him off fairly soon after half time. It was. He was absolutely destroyed. There. It was brilliant. We we were singing a bit of a naughty song last night. I won't repeat, but um, yeah. But uh, he's he's he just looks stupid. Oh, mate. I've Stupid written these George. notes down in my notebook as the game was going on, so I shall pick one at random. Do, do, do that. Samir, exclamation mark, yellow for nothing, that makes that boy an idiot. What happened about that? He was arguing about something, wasn't he? Right. <laughs> referee, <laughs> referee's stupid in this case for forgetting his vanishing spray. The wall stayed in its place, in fairness, because I was watching it. They didn't move. But every time the referee turned his back, and the referee shouldn't have given him three opportunities, but three opportunities he did give Sammy Carruthers, and he kept moving the ball forward. The referee's coming back, look, put the ball back, mate. He's, he's telling him like a mate, he's not sending him like a referee ordering him with his thumb, uh, finger up or anything. Put the ball back there, mate, go on, put the ball back. Turns his back, does it again. And we're all standing there going, what are you doing? And we know he's going to get booked again, and, and it beggars belief as to why he'd done it again. Third time, referee just comes over, right. Yellow card, there you are, mate. And it was the stupidest yellow card I've ever seen. He moved it about an inch. From reading yeah. about six or seven di- different people's Twitter accounts of the game They're last wrong. night, he was moving the ball backwards rather than forwards, which is what the confusion came over why he got booked for it. It doesn't matter, he still wasn't li- listening to That'd it. give you more of a chance to get it over the wall, wouldn't it, if you were further back? But you can move the ball further back, that's, that's can, allowed. Yeah, you just can't but move it referees, forward. I'd Damned idiot, then. Yeah. Well, it's forward or backwards. I can't remember. And have we spoken about Sockgate yet? We haven't mentioned Sockgate. Can Sockgate. you mention Sockgate, please? Um, we had to wear we their socks, wore didn't we? different coloured socks I that they were weren't clean. from our suppliers. Other suppliers are available, but they were designed by Puma and they had BFC to, um, on them, Ooh. which stands for Burnley Football Club, which I don't know whether you'd gather isn't us. Therefore, they're not our socks. There is a kit man who works for the um, club who probably made a mistake. Thus, we wore dark shaded <laughs> socks. <laughs> I think they weren't frilly. Bit yeah. of psychological warfare. Just, just a quick update. Actually, Sean CSI Bletch has just tweeted to say that it's ODI, not odious's. <laughs> <laughs> well well wasn't wasn't that Garfield's dog? ODI. I think that was. Yeah, definitely. I've written Thank in this sure. notebook of mine at the top. <laughs> What's going on with Dave's kicking? Question mark, and then I've written. Under what did you it. put that down for? We've already discussed it. Yeah, I'm, I, I didn't know at the time when I was writing it that I was going to discuss it. Does I've just written it down with my new pen. I've got a brand new pen. Anyway, I've written that, and then I've put after it. But he has made a good save against Andre Green, and again, I don't know if he made two saves against. He, he did. Um... Is that Andre Green who used to play for Luton? Yeah, yes, it is. Hey, what, what's he doing at a team like that? But he went to Brentford and did rather well, and then got they signed him for nearly signed nine, for nine million. million. Jeez, yeah. they've more money than cents. More yeah, money um, than seats. <laughs> <laughs> that, the, the, the chance was kind of messed up. I think he took a bit of a heavy. I didn't see it too well because um, I was talking to somebody at the time, so I, I sort of just caught the tail end of it. But it looked like he took a heavy touch, and it was sort of going towards Martin, but he still had control of it, and he could have either gone around him, tried to get through his legs. Or chip it over him, and he decided to try and chip it through his um, put it through his legs, and it didn't work. And he said it wasn't a great save, but it, it was more grey making making a meal out of it than anything. I can't remember the the other one. And Talking course, about making a meal of things, let's discuss the five pound seat debacle. Yes, let's do it. Um, they had seats that were worth five pound because they were rubbish. Well, they rubbish seats. <laughs> um, <laughs> and pay what you think the about, seats are worth. About two about two meters away, we had. Several really ugly looking chavs. No. Um, Don't talk about Dan McCallum like that. Oh, that's a nice bloke he is. <laughs> and uh, no, they, they, they were very rude and whatever and singing very na- naughty, horrible, hurtful stuff to. to were your feelings hurt, Andrew? No, because I was watching oh, the game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm what. But it. 